Hello, and welcome to our video series. In this video, we'd like to answer one of the most commonly asked questions. That question is, what settings do I need to be using? Well, in general, we do recommend our defaults. After all, there is a good reason why we made them our defaults. Uh, but of course, from time to time, uh, you will want to change that up. That is largely dependent on what kind of file you have and what you actually want to do with that file. Uh, so let's take a quick tour of some of the most important settings within the program. Let's start with vectorization. Keep in mind these settings apply strictly to your raster to vector conversions. We have four different methods for taking your raster images and turning them into real CAD vectors. All of our settings have their uses, but some of course see more use than others. So, our first setting for taking that raster image and turning it into an actual usable vector is to vectorize homogenized partial images. This is our default for a very good reason. It is our personal favorite method. This method will allow you to take the different entity types, separate them onto different drawings, vectorize everything just a little bit differently, and then finally put the whole drawing back together. Take note of this picture right here. This will actually show you the different changes that we can do with your drawing. For our medium details, we have two options. We can turn them into contours or into hatches. So we'll start with the polyline, that's the option we see now. Then we'll switch it to solids. As you can see, there is a solid difference here. Then we'll take our small details and we can turn them into lines or into hatches. Again, note the differences. If you don't like that option, we can also vectorize along the center of pixel traces or we can vectorize outlines of pixel areas. Under vectorization 2, we do have our final option and that's to convert raster images as entity solid. Note the picture here. On this tab you'll also find our edge detection technology. This technology will allow you to take a photograph and actually bring it into CAD, whether that's a picture of your car or an aerial photograph for your site plans Whatever the case may be, all you need to do is check Contourize, Cartoonize Photos, and then choose your preferred method. We do recommend Sobel's method, but all of our methods are good and useful, and you will use all of them from time to time. Under Vectorization 3, you will find our threshold for converting grayscale into black and white. We have just introduced an automatic calculation of the optimal threshold, so we will actually calculate it for you. But if you find you do need to manually calibrate it, all you have to do is uncheck the box. Finally, under Vectorization 4, you will find our expert settings. As you're first getting used to the program, I recommend simply using one of our default three options, though you are welcome to adjust the settings as you see fit. Our default is a combination of curves and edges. You can switch it to edgy lines, rectangles, and corners, or to round outlines, curves, and contour lines. Again, with optimization, let's take a quick tour. So, of course, you are going to want layers in your final DWG, and we have three different options for actually making that happen for you. Of course, if you have PDF layers, we'll be glad to keep them for you. Simply check the very top box. If you're not so lucky as that, we can generate layers for you based on entity color or based on entity line weight, and we can even do color and line weight simultaneously. If you'd like, simply check both boxes. Under Pages, Coordinates, and Optimization, we do have the ability to convert only particular pages of your PDF. This is always useful when you have a large file, but you really only want a few pieces of it. Simply check the box, convert only the selected pages, and then enter the page numbers you want as shown. Simply follow the example. The final option I'd like to show you is our Crop a Detail function. This will allow you to convert only particular areas of your native PDF. There are two ways you can designate the area you want. If you'd like, you can enter it as coordinates based on percentages of the page's width and height. And that'll be based on the right upper corner and the left lower corner. Most folks do find it easier to simply click Choose Content Box. From here, all you need to do is simply draw your print area, draw it just like a box, and simply select whatever area of the drawing you want. If we only wanted this portion, we do that. Then we click our double arrows and save and exit and then OK and then finally start and there you are 